So my, female 22, boyfriend, 24, has this friend, female 25, who moved in four months ago because she had nowhere else to go. Now, I didn't mind having her as long as she respected our boundaries and the rules around the house, but that's definitely not happening. She's very loud, comments on everything, and just generally does inappropriate stuff and excuses it for being a Latina. She doesn't help at all besides maybe cooking sometimes, but she doesn't clean up the mess she makes and invites people over whenever she wants. She changed in the living room in front of us and I asked her to change in her room, but her excuse was that she was trying to feel at home and then she suggested I should too as it would strengthen my bond with my boyfriend. So I talked to my boyfriend because I'm uncomfortable with this whole situation and he told me not to overthink. She always interrupted our time together and would sit between us during a movie or take my space and cuddle him in the most unfriendly way. When I asked jokingly if she was trying to take my man, she would excuse it on her ethnicity, and that's how they grew up. So I knew I had to ruin this Friday night they had for them. So I called my boyfriend, and when he was about to get up, she said that it was their favourite part and that he could leave later. I insisted, but she kept pulling him, so I went and pulled him to our room, discussed how what she was doing was upsetting, and that I no longer wanted her living with us. And he agreed I had the right, but that she has nowhere to go, and that I'll have to wait until she finds a job which she's not even trying to get. While we were talking, she came and tried to open the door, which was locked. So she started knocking, and we just ignored her until it got louder, and he asked her to leave, but she got even louder, and then started saying how I ruined the only time she gets with him. I had enough at that point, and my boyfriend suggested he talks to her first, so he went, and they took almost two hours. So I went to check on them and heard her telling him he shouldn't accept someone who ruins a friendship as a partner and that is a big red flag and he should kick me out. But this is my property that I inherited from my aunt and at that point I knew I had to kick her out. I didn't even ask what conclusion they came up with and waited in the living room until they came out and I just told her to look for another place and gave her two weeks max. She's been crying since yesterday, refusing to eat and not coming out of the room. So my boyfriend is saying I went overboard and hit a sensitive spot of hers, basically telling her to leave when she has no family or anywhere to go. So, am I the idiot? This is your property, correct? And she has the nerve then to suggest to your boyfriend he kicks you out? Not the idiot, but you don't have a homeless friend problem. You've got a boyfriend problem. If your boyfriend had any respect for you, he'd have stopped this a while ago. Something tells me he's enjoying all the attention he's getting from his new roomie. It wouldn't surprise me if they were hooking up behind your back. She's Latina, with no familia? Lies and BS. Hispanic communities are very inclusive. They don't suffer fools, though. If she's not welcomed by then, it's because she's done this before. Many times. Kick them both out. If she hasn't already taken your man, she's trying to. I wouldn't think a man who disrespects you enough to cuddle another woman on your couch in your home would be worth fighting for. She probably thought it was his place and she could get him to kick OP out. And boom, free home. Kick him out too and they can find a place together. They're both freeloading off you and disrespectful as heck. Start the eviction proceedings now. Update. Am I the idiot for kicking out my boyfriend's homeless friend? Thank you everyone for the advice and helping me open an eye to the real issue. My life literally took a 180 degree turn in less than 24 hours. The comments were like a slap in the face I really needed. Apparently I was too blind. Yeah, I guess my boyfriend isn't who I thought he was. He's been trying to give her food, trying to calm her down, and literally took a day off from college and work, which he never did for me. I really wanted to make sure it is what it looks like before deciding on my next move. I prepared lunch way before time and asked him if he was around for lunch and his response was, I'm trying to get her to have breakfast and you're talking about lunch. You're becoming unrecognizable. Yeah, I didn't know what to reply so I just asked again and he said we could have lunch together if she's willing to join us as it's rude if we eat without her. So I invited my guy friend over, explained our situation and asked him to be comfortable. I didn't want to do the cuddling stuff like them because we didn't break up yet at that point. My boyfriend never realized someone was over until he came to take food and he saw us having lunch together. And he just gave me a look, said hi, and was going to take some for themselves until he realized it was creamy rice casserole, which his friend doesn't like and yeah, I did that on purpose, and chicken roast with some sides and he glared at me and said, you know she doesn't eat that. I replied, 
Well, it's not her who I made this for. He threw the plate and started shouting, asking what was wrong with me and saying that he wished he'd never dated me. It was so scary that my friend got involved. I asked my boyfriend to leave with his other girlfriend, but he replied, Oh, so you're replacing me that fast? I told him he was the one who'd replaced me a long time ago, but I was too dumb to realize. He left to take a walk, and I packed his things for him, which aren't a lot, and left them by the front door. He came crying and apologizing and acknowledging what he did was wrong and just other BS I didn't want to hear because the damage was already done. My friend was a great support. He dealt with everything else as I cried my eyes out in my room. And that sums up how I went through my first heartbreak. And it was my first relationship and I did love him, but I guess I can watch, eat and do anything now without catering to anyone's needs. I'm changing the locks tomorrow morning and we're ordering fried chicken apparently a proven heartbreak remedy by my friend. Thank you all for the support. Good job kicking the two idiots out. I'm glad your eyes were opened. He was much too concerned with her and her feelings than he was with you and yours. She was overstepping boundaries and he didn't give a crap. Then she tried to have him throw you out of your own home? Yeah, no, it was time for her to go and him too since he didn't try to tell her she was overstepping. Good luck. I'm a 36-year-old male. I have seven nieces and nephews from three sisters, and we spend a lot of time together. I don't have kids of my own yet. I was an army doctor for three years and then suffered an injury. I had to relearn to walk, talk, and do most things I used to find normal. I was in a coma for almost a month. This was five years ago. Each year, I celebrate the anniversary of the day I finally woke up, like my rebirth day or something. I always invite my parents and sisters with their families. Last week I had the party and got the cake. My niece, kindergartner, just recently broke her leg, a really complicated fracture, and is miserable about it, so at the party I jokingly told her we're now the same. I walk with the cane and she needs help standing up too. She found it amusing and said, we're both superheroes now. I then told her to blow out the candle instead of me, and it made her really happy. My nephew, young tween, then threw a tantrum, called her a baby for complaining, and said he wanted to blow the candle out. I tried to move past it and told him he could have the first piece of cake. To that he said, you and niece can shove the cake and eat crap. Wow, I said that wasn't nice and he needed to apologize. He refused to, then his mom, my sister, told me to just let it go and serve the cake. I said he needed to apologize or he couldn't have cake. He started screaming and crying and ran out of the kitchen. My sister says I'm an idiot for picking a fight with a kid over cake. Am I really the idiot? Jeez, not the idiot. I understand kids make mistakes and are learning their way around the world, but what on earth? The nephew told you and his little sister to shove your cake and eat crap. Oh no, you didn't pick a fight with your nephew. He is a spoiled little brat who not only deserved no cake at all, but should have been sent home or to a timeout room. Judging from his mum's reaction, I'm not surprised he acts like an entitled brat. Little man came unglued over not being allowed to blow a candle out. His mother wasn't going to parent him and call him out on his behavior, so someone had to. You're not picking a fight over the cake. You're correcting a kid for displaying disrespectful behavior, throwing a tantrum, and being downright mean. Your sister needs to get it together and parent her son because he's learning he can get away with this action because of her inaction. Also, massive respect to you for your service and your strength and resilience coming back from that terrible injury. I, 28 male, have three siblings, two younger sisters, 27 and 25, and one younger brother, 24. We're really tight with our three cousins, ages 21 to 27. Our parents are together but have recently retired down in Florida. My aunt and uncle moved down there with them, so we've always done big family get-togethers with our cousins and extended family. As the oldest I've hosted since our parents moved, all my siblings and cousins are in the area still. My wife, Caroline, 26, was best friends with my youngest sister, Beth, 25, and that's how we met. My wife has always been part of the family and insisted we be the host for things as we just got our new house. So now to the issue at hand here. Beth had been married for two years. We all liked him, especially my brother. I found this all out recently, so bear with me. Beth came to my wife and told me she was having an affair. My wife told her to come clean, but Beth didn't right away. I didn't notice the tension between them then, but now I realize it. Beth did come clean, but trickled truthed it. 
It was a bomb in our family when her husband sent the proof to my brother, and my brother blew up our family group chat, calling her a sleaze. My wife has since stopped being friends with Beth. It's just been a lot of drama. I'm supposed to host Thanksgiving this year, and we're already making plans. My wife doesn't want Beth invited, nor does my brother and his wife. My sister wants her there still and has said as much to me. My cousins are indifferent. Basically saying, as the host, it's my call. My parents are going nuts, though. I already had preliminary talks with them about the plan going forward. Here is where I am. I don't want my sister around. My wife and brother and sister-in-law hate her. Everyone else seems okay with having her around. My parents are saying I can't just remove her from the family. I said if they don't like it, then she can just visit them for the holiday or host it in Florida. This wouldn't happen, though, due to small kids and money. My uncle and aunt are backing my parents. Beth is apparently in therapy over everything, according to her Facebook post. So, I feel like I'm being an idiot, but I also don't have any other option. It's my wife's house, too. Am I the idiot? You are the idiot. She cheated, and that sucks. But why is it your job to be a moral judge of her life and mistreat her? She didn't cheat on you, and she is your sister. Unless there is worse going on and she did something awful in the process of the breakup, behaves poorly overall, I really don't think it's appropriate for a family to ostracize a sibling over their personal relationship issues. It's so strange to me that you write that everyone hates her now, but you don't list anything she's done to anyone besides her own husband. And that's between them. If he cheated, would you do the same to him? Like, why is banning the sister appropriate just because the relationship with the husband isn't working? It's weird to me. Yeah, in my family, we're close and wouldn't ostracize a sibling over their bad decisions that didn't directly affect us. I find it alarming how quickly people can get rid of family. The sister was wrong, but is it only affairs or are they going to excommunicate anyone who does anything wrong? At the end of the day, they don't have to condone what she did, but it's not their business and she wasn't trying to bring her affair partner around. Totally disagree. People are allowed to make judgments based on how others act. If someone does something against your value system, you're allowed to feel about and treat them differently as they show you who they are. Actions have consequences. She tried to get his wife involved in a secret that could mess up the family. Thankfully, it only messed up the family for her. Being family doesn't give them some automatic right to forgiveness. Cheating is a scummy thing to do and says a lot about the people who do it. You are not the idiot. You're not required to host. You're not required to magically forgive and forget the crappy behavior of family members. Your wife certainly isn't required to do so. And since you're both in agreement, seriously, it's not your parents' house. And anyone who wants to see Beth is welcome to host her themselves. My mom was a great mother. I had a good childhood, especially considering how young she was and that my dad was a piece of crap. I really appreciate how she shielded me from all of that. My mom is married to my former boss, and while it sucks for me, I do believe she did her duty as a mother and deserves to be happy. I used to work for Brandon. This was one of those jobs where networking was everything. You really needed the boss to like you, and you had to present a certain image. I will admit I tried way too hard, and to put it lightly, Brandon didn't like me. He was a condescending idiot, and my mom was aware as I vented to her about work. He wasn't outright abusive, but did laugh at me a lot and make a few comments that weren't cool. My mom and Brandon met at our wedding. Now, I don't believe in love at first sight, but they definitely had something there and they got serious really fast. And I have to say he makes her really happy and she's never really seemed truly happy before. I hate being around him. I wish this never happened, but I'm pleased for them. My wife thinks my mom is a bad mother for putting herself first. Recently, my very young son asked why we don't see my mom as much as my in-laws, about once a month versus once or twice a week. My wife said that while my in-laws were the best parents, my mom was bad because she married Brandon, who had not been nice to me and we didn't spend much time with her because she was selfish. I was furious and told my son that wasn't true. I said we don't spend time together because my mom has a busier life and because mother-in-law doesn't work, so they sometimes go over during the day. I said it was wrong of my wife to say that and my mom was great. My wife told our son I was wrong and that a good mom would not have married someone like that. I snapped and told my son not to listen to his mother and she just didn't like my mom. I said that women with adult kids should put themselves first and maybe it isn't healthy how much we see mother-in-law, but my mom is a great person and I won't hear anything more about it. 
When my son went to play, my wife confronted me and said I undermined her and acted like a mama's boy. She said I shouldn't have raised my voice, I didn't yell but did raise it, and that I shouldn't be confusing our son when what my mom did was objectively not okay. So, am I the idiot? No one is a winner here. You're both crappy for putting your child in the middle of an argument between you and your wife. Neither of you was actually talking to your son. You were indirectly being jerks to each other about an issue that seemed unresolved between the two of you. Keep your son out of this. It's only going to cause him a lot of issues in the future. Discuss your issues like adults. Don't use your son as a passive-aggressive tool. Agree. Everyone's the idiot here. Next time you two children want to fight through a third party instead of talking to each other like adults, try using the dog instead of your impressionable kid as the prop. Both of you suck. Grow up. I can't get past wondering why your boss, who you didn't like and who didn't like you, was at your wedding. You really did try way too hard. You are the idiot. You have a weird fascination with not holding your mother to any accountability, so you can see others' faults except hers. Whatever else, a great mom would not have gravitated to a bully or allowed him to distance her from her child and grandchild.